Central Side Action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Looking for the corner. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. He's out of bounds at the 41-yard line. a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Tackle around the 45-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He scrambled, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. From the 36-yard line, first down. Taken down around the 35-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Pitches in, and he's got a lane. And they finally bring him down at the 8-yard line. That was a huge lift. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. This is the eighth play of this drive. Got an opening. And they're in. Touchdown. Put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 7-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. The Mustangs have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gets it 
to that quickly. Brought down around the 38-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. hit immediately. And he shoved out of bounds around the 44-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. the catch and he's got nowhere to go when you only need a couple of yards on third down as a quarterback you always want to try to find a receiver to throw to that's across the first down marker it's away and it's a booming punt this punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback this one might be coming back folks let's check out the penalty Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 10. Gets to about the 11-yard line. That brings up second and nine. strike and he can't pull it in from their own 11 yard line third down balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds from their own 29-yard line. First down. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards on the ball. That brings up second and 13. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He steps out at the 27. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? And so it's another third down upcoming here. Slings it, and down he goes at the 24-yard line. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Hurricanes in front, 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And they make.
make the stop at about the 35. Second and nine. Ball on the 35-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Here's an opening. He dives, and he'll be marked down. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Second down and six. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he's tackled at about the 45. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. simple play action pass the defense here bid on the fake just enough allowing the quarterback to find an open target and the result is a big gainer from the 17 yard line it's first down of one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Strike to the back, no good. Won't count for anything, but you can't deny that was a great effort to try to make that catch. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Got a man, watch out here. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. He's tackled in the open field. Nice run up the middle. 
middle. The Hurricanes taking their first time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle made around the 15-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the nine. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And they hit him in the backfield. The offense needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gives it right side. And they'll bring him down behind the line. And he just gets rid of it. They'll line up for the field goal. And this is nothing more than a chip shot. It's up. And they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. To the 30. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. The Mustangs struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game, and sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet, and see how he can do. They got to get the ball in his hands somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play, one touch to get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Good credit. A lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan, but now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. Tackle at the 43-yard line. The Mustangs are going to call their second timeout. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Nice grab on the play. Out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Now he tries to buy. He's at the 30. He's tackled around the 27-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill. That makes it first and ten. Just throws this one away. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 27. Zips it left. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. Defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 72-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. We played a half of football. This one's all even at 10.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense pride themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in, year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He makes it to the 25-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Room around the corner. Tackle outside after an... That's good for a game four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Nice run there as they work the outside. Game of seven yards. First down. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. Ten, two, yellow. He fights forward to about the 36. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 36-yard line. And now he pitches it. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. can really get up in the air. If that happens a lot, he may need to adjust his release point so the ball comes out higher. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Down around the 43 yard line. From their own 43 yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 49. Six. 
The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick pass. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Decent run here, right side. That's a team of four. That makes it second and six. the ball here and brought down in the backfield. That makes it 37. From the 19-yard line, third down. And he hits him hard at the 25. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Tackle made at the 28-yard. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 46. complete and he's hit right away. That'll bring up second and three. Here we go, here we go. Mike four. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick strike, and he drops it. Number 25, the intended receiver. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Mike four, Mike four. They'll drop him for a loss. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 18. And he's hit immediately. Slings it, and down he goes at the 49. So at the end of three, the Hurricanes in front, 13-10. 
back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. Second down and 11. Ball in the 48. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. In the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Caught, open field, and they make the stop right around the 40. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Run inside, stop quickly. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Tenth play of the drive. Inside the ten. What a play, and that is first and goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. It's on a move. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 81-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback of the season. He sends this one deep. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He goes out of bounds at the 29. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at around the 44-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. 
From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Tackle at about the 45. at the 33. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Never want to see a kid down on the field after a play. Not sure what happened, but hopefully it's nothing serious. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle made around the 17-yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. He's taken down around the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. Just under two minutes in the game. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. It's the ninth play of the drive. Four yards out. Makes his third and goal. Mike four, Mike four. Three, nine. And he's going to come up with a sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The Mustangs use their second timeout. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Under a minute left. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Yes, hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. The Mustangs, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA football.
14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.